Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Man, what the fuck was that, man? I mean, y'all like that shit? I hear so much talk about this dude, man. I have never made a video about Reagan Dow ever. And I probably won't ever make a video about him again. You know, a lot of you motherfuckers be talking shit about this dude like he's the truth and shit. Yo, I see where those Floyd Mayweather comparisons come from now. Because he do kind of fight like Floyd, you know, like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's how the motherfuckers fight, like bitches. You know, run away and shit. But Brigandow was worse than Floyd. Floyd throw more punches than that. This dude only landed 72 punches in 10 rounds, man. That's an average of seven punches landed a fucking round. And y'all call that entertainment? Y'all think he's good because of that shit? Man... That dude is a robbery waiting to happen, man. He just got to fight the, the right fighter. He ain't nothing but a miniature Erislandy Laura. And Laura is way more entertaining than that dude. Laura really should be undefeated. You know, he got robbed against Paul Williams. He got robbed against Canelo. But Brigandau ain't nothing different than Laura. And shit. I mean, landing seven punches a fucking round, man. That shit was ridiculous, man. That was kind of hard to watch, you know? I, I was only looking forward to two fights on this Cotto and Canelo card. And it was the Rigondeaux fight, and it was the Cotto and Canelo fight. You know, I don't even really know those other guys that's fighting. And I really, I had never even watched Rigondeaux fight before. I went back and watched one of his old fights and, and some of his highlights. You know, looking at the highlights, he looked pretty good and shit. But I'd never watched, like, the whole fight and seen how he was fighting and shit. Man, that was some bullshit, man. That's just like watching paint dry. I mean, I don't understand how anybody could think that's entertaining. I know some of you motherfuckers running these channels gonna get on this motherfucker and be like, oh man, that was amazing. He couldn't even uh, get hit by any shots. The dude just was missing. Hey, the dude did like almost knock himself out of the ring from missing so wild with one of those punches that he threw at Rigondeaux. But, man, that shit ain't fucking impressive to me, man. I mean, damn, man. And you know what's so fucked up? Why we be on fighters like this, like Floyd and Rigondeaux? It's because we know that you talented. We know that you capable of doing so much more, but you choose not to do it. That's the fucked up part. That's the problem. I mean, damn. We already see you got skills, man. We already know you can make these dudes miss. Why don't you make them pay? I mean, running away from the dude and then once he finally get in close, you grab him? Y'all call that entertaining? I mean, shit. Good good for him that he's good at making motherfuckers miss. But why don't you make them pay, bro? I mean, we already see you got the skills, man. You can do it. Just let your fucking hands go. I mean, what's the big deal? You already making him miss. He can't hit you. So why don't you hit him? I don't get it, man. You know what I'm saying? I was waiting the whole fight. It's like, punish this motherfucker, man. He ain't got shit for you. Look, the bum was even standing in front of him, like, looking away from him and, like, taunting him, like, come on, fight. The bum is wanting to get his ass whooped. He, like, punch me, motherfucker. You know? But Rigondeaux won every single one of those rounds, man. And he literally won those rounds with, like, six punches landed and shit. I think it was only, like one round where he landed in the double digits and he landed like 10 punches in that round but he only landed 72 punches in the whole fight so that's an average of seven punches landed per round so that tell you exactly how active this motherfucker was man you know i mean look let's say and then most of those rounds he was just landing like six punches around like i said so you know that's one punch landed every 30 seconds you know if i sat here and just let 30 seconds go without saying one word. You know how fucking long that would take? That's how it was in the fucking fight, man. They wasn't even, it wasn't even a fight. How could you call that a fight? That's a staring contest. You know, you train all of this time, man. I know they took the fight on short notice and all that shit, but both fighters was in shape. So both fighters was training. You know, you doing all of them push-ups, all of them sit-ups, going on them runs and shit for miles and all of that shit, just to get in the ring and just look at a motherfucker. I mean, the bum wanted to fight. 
You know, I shouldn't really call that guy a bum. I don't know that guy. You know, he took the fight on a short notice. I ain't even really look at his record twice. You know what I'm saying? But most time, when a fighter take a fight like that on a short notice, you know, it's somebody that don't really got much to lose. You know, especially when taking it on a short notice against another top fighter. But, you know, that guy, I mean, he was standing in front of you like, come on, man, fight. Hit me. Do something. Rigondeaux wouldn't do shit, man. He wouldn't do shit. Even when, like, the openness was there. I mean, every now and then when the guy, Francisco, he landed a punch or two, you know, Rigondeaux would retaliate with his own little one-two, you know, just to make sure he's in control of the round. That way he'll win the round. But he'll go back to running away. I mean, backing up the whole, the crowd was booing the whole fucking fight. Nobody's ever going to want to see you fight, bro. You will never be a main event fighter fighting like that. Who is going to pay tickets to see that shit? You already can't speak English, so you can't be a trash talker and sell yourself like Floyd. I mean, you ain't nobody going to ever want to see that shit ever, man. I mean, you know, but congratulations to Rigondeaux. He made a return to the ring. He's been out of the ring for a little while now. You know, they took a couple of his belts and shit, but... I mean, congratulations to Rigondeaux for getting this victory, man. I mean, I know it take a lot to get in there in the ring and shit and all that good shit, but I mean, he could have did so much more and he just chose not to. It was fucking ridiculous, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, I don't give a fuck if I ever see Rigondeaux fight again in life. I'm not looking forward to it. They don't need to put him on no more undercars of fights that I'm looking forward to. You know, put him back on regular HBO. I'll check out the fight. But, you know, I would like to see him in there with a tough fighter. Somebody that's going to bum rush his ass like Mike Don and just throw a bunch of wild punches and make him fight. He's that type of fighter where he ain't going to engage even if he can. You know what I'm saying? He need a fighter that's just going to throw a lot of punches and force him to fight in order so he can win that round. Because if he can win a round... By landing six or seven punches in that round, that's exactly what he gonna do. He's that type of fighter. It's boring as fuck, man, but that's his style. But fuck it, man. Congratulations to you and your career. And hopefully, you know, you go in there next time and you be more entertaining, man. Throw some more punches, bro. Because, I mean, we can see that you talented. You won two gold medals. So why don't you throw more fucking punches, man? I don't fucking get it, man. But, you know, good luck to him in his career. Good luck selling fucking tickets fighting like that, too, because you're going to need it. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got to quit fucking with you. I got to quit fucking with you.